Hey guys, and today I have a brand new Owl Crate unboxing. It is the September box, and this box actually came quite late this month for me. I mean, it's the 30th on Friday. I don't know when I'm gonna get this video up, so it's gonna be a bit late. I mean, when it comes this late, I just can't remember what the theme of this box was, but I know it was something, some, something, something to do with Miss Peregrine, Miss Peregrine School of Weird Children. I can't remember, but let's just go straight into this. Yes, guys, guess what? Trusty Clippers are back. Also, hi to all you newcomers. Welcome to the channel. If you continually want to watch our videos, but this is a very bookish video today. I'm excited. It feels so long since our last box. This box seems quite heavy compared to the last few boxes, so I'm excited to see what's inside it. I mean, Seriously, it's not that light. I remember some of them were really light and this one's quite heavy, so. Okay. I should have held that up to you guys. Oh my gosh. This looks really exciting. So I absolutely am loving this artwork on this month's theme card. And the theme is darkness. I remember now. Okay, so first of all, I see this. No, should I go for this? We'll go for this. I see this gold pot. I'm guessing it's a candle. The Melting Library, it sounds like a candle. Selena's Cake, so I hope I'm saying that right. Selena's Cake, and it has the date in which it was created on. 9th 6, 2016. Presuming it's gonna smell like cake. And I can't get it open. It is a candle. I thought I was gonna open it then, and it's gonna be like a big pot of lip balm or something, but it's not. It's definitely a candle. And it has a, another little sheet card in here, and it's called Rattle the Stars. It smells like cake, there's definitely that buttery cakeness to it. I, can't, I really can't describe the scent. Like, it, also, it almost smells a little marzipan-y, and I'm not a great fan of marzipan, but I can deal with it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm okay, it's an okay candle. It's just a candle, to be fair. I love candles, so I'm definitely gonna be burning that at some point. Next we have in the box is this big blue ball thing. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a bath bomb. Fortune telling bomb, okay? Fortune telling bomb, it sounds interesting. A mystic berry bath fizzer with a yes or no answer inside. What? Created by a pair of teenage sisterpreneurs, handmade in the USA. Read our story. I will read your story. This sounds so cool. When I drop this bath bomb in my bath, I'm gonna ask it a question, basically. Don't know what that question will be. I will have to think and let you guys know whether it's a yes or a no. Yeah, berry bath. I like the fact that it's berry bath. I love berry scents. So, I'll put that down. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. What is it? Oh, we get a pencil case. Strange, I thought, how you can be living your dreams and your nightmares at the very same time. Oh, there's two of them. Is this the same? Guys, I've got two of the same thing. Like, it's the same pencil case. The same cards in them. I'm not sure if I was supposed to get two of these. But, since my sister loves this book, it's very ideal because she can have one and I can have one. So, okay, I don't know if that was intentional, but thanks, because my sister's gonna love that when she comes back off a mission. She absolutely loves this book. I still haven't read it. I feel so bad that I haven't read it. And my sister's told me to read the second one as well. She's given me the book. It's on my shelf. It's on my TBR shelf. So I just need to read it, basically. I really want to read this now, but I've just got so many of the books to read. I mean, for instance, I have the new Harry Potter book. I still haven't read it. Like, I know it's Harry Potter, but I'm really enjoying the fact that I haven't read it and I've managed to avoid any spoilers, like I haven't heard anything. And I just, I'm enjoying this phase where it's a brand new book and I'm soaking it all in. Like, I haven't had a brand new Harry, po Harry Potter book in a while, so I'm just enjoying this time where I haven't read it, I know nothing, and I'm just excited to read it. Like, I'm enjoying it a lot more because I'm prolonging the excitement. <laughs> I mean, that, that may sound a bit weird to you guys, but, that's what I'm doing. Next we have in this box is another badge. Now these 
pin badges, I believe, are becoming a lot more regular. We received one in the last box, I think it was, or was it the box before, with the dinosaur in it. But it, now I get why there's a dinosaur in it, because it's they're going to be releasing or giving badges as an extra little gift in your Alcrate box to represent that box. So if you get rid of the cards, you still have the badges. There are a lot of things in here. Next we have a passport to a new world. Chosen to embrace her true identity, chosen to follow her destiny, chosen to vanquish the forces that have threatened her people for centuries. Moon chosen. Oh, it's by PC Cast. Now I've read the Marked series up to number six, I believe. I think the six was the last book I read. I didn't go any further because it just the series just got a bit too much for me. I didn't get I wasn't relating to the characters as much as I used to. I don't I didn't really care for the characters after number six. But this um, the Tales of a New World series begins the 10th, the 18th of the 10th, 2016. This is a whole new bit, book series. Okay, so there is the front cover of it. It's got a dog on it. Well, I presume it's a dog. The epic new fantasy series, and it would be fantasy. I'm not really high on fantasy. We have a bookmark: No mourners, no funerals. Six of crows. Oh, that's on my TBR list. It's on my TBR list. I really need to read this as well. When everyone knows you are a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. Yeah. So we have another. We have another. We have a. Well, we. I think we've had one of these before, where you get like there's a little book with the 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 main book, I guess. I can't remember what the last one was, but this is like pretty decent. This is remade. Is this like the third book? First book? Uh, remade. A, ser a serial in 15 episodes. Oh, okay. I'm a little confused. Are these like little comics? What, like, but there's no pictures though. There's no, it's just like a little book. So is it just a little book series? Is that what it is? I have no idea. Somebody help me. You live, you love, you die. Now run. Remade. Every minute, 108 people die. On October the 14th, 2016, from 9.31 till 9.32pm, EDT, 23 of those deaths will be teenagers. Now they are humanity's lost hope for survival. Awakened in a post-apocalyptic world and hunted by mechanical horrors, these teens search for answers amidst, amidst, I can't pronounce that word, amidst the ruins of civilization, fate, love and loyalty face off in their adrenaline pumping wire adventure. Presented by Serial Box Publishing, the serial will unfold in 15 episodes starting September the 14th, 2016. Okay, so I'm guessing there's going to be 15 of these little books, these little short episodes. That's kind of clever actually, you don't have to sit there and read like a whole novel, you know you could just read this and then by the end of the 15 you'll have read like a novel but it wouldn't have feel, felt like a novel because they're individual books. I don't know but sounds interesting and it's a short read and I have, I'm have i quite busy these days so that would be nice to just sit down and know that I'll finish it in one sitting probably. Next we have the book Three Dark Crowns. That is a nice cover. It reminds me of the Red Queen series. Let's open it and find out. So the author, what's the author's name, is Ken Dare Blake. Author of Anna Dressed in Blood. I've heard of that, but never read it. So we have the autograph on a piece of card. We have a note from the author. Yeah, okay. Read that later. What is this? Oh, it's, the, it's one of those little like fold up fortune tellers. That's so cool. I'm so gonna use this and fold it up. You know when you were kids and you got a piece of paper, you know, you just got a random piece of paper at the end of class and then you just folded it up and like put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are we on nine? No, eight. You choose a colour, then you'd pick a number. Then you go one, two, three. Okay, I'm just talking about I'm just rambling now. But then it would basically tell you what your future holds. I'm gonna use that just for a little fun. That's cool. Um, Ken Dare Blake, Three Dark Crowns. I'm absolutely loving this cover. Like, I don't know, I really like simple but bold colour colours. Covers. On the back of this it says, Three Dark Queens are born in a glen. Sweet little triplets will never be friends. Okay, it's like a poem. 
Three dark sisters, all fair to be seen, two to devour and one to be queen. Ooh. Ooh. I love things like this. In every generation on the island of Fenburn, a set of triplets is born. Three queens, all equal heirs to the crown and each possessor of a coveted magic. Mirabella is a fierce elemental, able to spark hungry flames or vicious storms at the snap of her fingers. Gosh, imagine being able to do that. That's like, yes, storm, when you don't want to go to work or something like that. Catherine, with a K, is a, is a poisoner. Wow, okay. Catherine is a poisoner, one who can ingest the deadliest poisons without so much as a stomach ache. Arsenal, a naturalist, is said to have the ability to bloom the reddest rose and control the fiercest of lions. I think I would want to do that. That would be cool. But becoming the queen crowned isn't solely a matter of royal birth, each sister has to fight for it. And it's not just a game of win or lose, it's life or death. Wow. The night, the night the sisters turn 16, the battle begins. The last queen standing gets the crown. Okay, I probably probably would not want to be a part of this, but this sounds amazing. This sounds so good. Oh, and it's even got like the map of the of the world <laughs> of the world that we're going to be looking into. Oh no, I really like the sound of this. And it's got those like um, etched edges on the pages, like it's oh. When you think your book's ruined, but it's not. I'm really loving this like burgundy black, burgundy black kind of theme to this. Like, even the cover, look at the cover, it's just simple. And then you have like the three symbols of the crown, and that is like right in my head. But you have like three, the three symbols, and oh, I love it. And then you have three dark crowns on the side. Oh, I like this. This is one to watch, guys. I believe this is one that's going to be good, I think. So, next month's box. If I'm going to get it. I wasn't sure about getting this one, but I'm actually really pleased I did. I mean there was a candle, I love candles, there was a bath bomb, I love bath bombs, and that book looks amazing. And I've got two peregrine Miss Peregrines, and then I've got a little, another little additional book. I am actually really pleased with this box. I actually really love it. So next month's theme is Once Upon a Time well, oh, I was gonna say once upon a time, but it's once upon a dream. The theme of this box is once upon a dream flip for a sneak peek and the sneak peek is in the October box you will receive an awesome item from who's it and what's it <sighs> it's gonna be Disney related it has to be if you're already oh my gosh it has to be who's it and what's it that's that's the little mermaid I mean it might not be the little mermaid I love the little mermaid but it might not be the little mermaid it might be something from Disney that is everything Another thing I have to mention because I've just been so excited and raving about it this week, but the Patronus quiz for Harry Potter, if you love Harry Potter, is up online on Pottermore. Finally, I've been waiting for this quiz so long. You probably have seen our We Hate Pottermore um, video, but the quizzes are so beautiful and so intricate, they're so well made and I loved the experience of the Patronus one. I cannot wait for my sister to get back off her mission and do hers because I really want to know what her Patronus is. But if you if you guys want to know what mine is, mine is the fox. It's not a rare one but I do love my foxes and I wasn't so sure when I got it, I was kind of a bit... I was taken back should we say I was like really a fox I was like about I love foxes don't get me wrong but a fox and then I kind of right researched it a bit more kind of looked at the personality of it and it, re it really really fits me like it's unbelievable how well the fox fits me I just I read it I'm just like yeah I get I guess that's me that's just that's just me I mean yeah there's this one website which I absolutely love and I've been totally recommending to a lot of people if you have done the Pottermore Patronus quiz because there isn't um, any um, description on what your animal kind of represents that you get as your Patronus. Like it doesn't really give anything, it just tells you what um, a Patronus charm is in general. But I have researched and researched, I can find a lot of 
like spirit animal totems on a lot of the animals apart from um, my best friend and her cousin like the one at the Patronus that they got they're, they're not well known on the internet as a spirit animal but I did come across this website and it is called let me just get the website up it's called explainnames.com now I know this explains kind of the name of like the name but you can tell it does all animal types of like animal names by the way this is not like this is not sponsored or anything this is just I was that desperate to find out what a fox meant and this website once I type in fox it gives you like the meaning gives you the meaning and then a fox horoscope for each letter now, meaning of fox name, so it says best traits are renewal, devotion and idolism. Areas for possible improvements are selfishness, I'm not really that selfish, I'm more selfless, like I, I give my time to a lot of people more than myself. Um, and then it says an anxiety and moodiness. With a ph philanthropic and humanitarian personality, you at times self-sacrifice yourself too much putting all of your energy and effort into pro projects work and otherwise. The type of person people can count on once a decision has been made, always confident in your skills, well I try to be, <laughs> but giving too much of your, yourself while not taking enough rest can result in moodiness. That explains why I'm tired all the time and I just don't have the energy to do anything at work. <laughs> um, having no difficulty communicating in, pe um, in public, loving life to the fullest with a great imagination that can at times lead to drastic procrastination I mean honestly when I have days off I'm like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I do a bit of it and then I procrastinate a lot like I'm online shopping or something like that um, you possess strong creative or artistic talent at times both when facing problems that need solving you never focus on small details instead you always see the big picture first I always think things through I look at it and be like right which is the easiest option or which is the best outcome or which is the best way to get the best outcome. You strongly believe in humanity, gladly giving your time, money and goodwill without expecting anything in return. If the ultimate goal is to make this world a better place, with conviction you always tend to finish things you started. I do do that. Honestly, I would totally love to make this world a better place. I mean, who doesn't? Who honestly doesn't? And who honestly doesn't want to finished something. I know some people will give up on things but I am one to not. Like if someone sent me a task I will try day and night trying to find out the answer. Um, being able to completely devote yourself to a task you set your sights on is one of your greatest qualities. Never expecting rewards in return for a task accomplished. No, I, the greatest reward is making them happy in my opinion. Like if I fix something I am just over the moon. Like. I've achieved that and I'm so happy. I don't expect anything, literally anything in return. Um, you experience an attraction for the beautiful and wonderful, however beware to not live in a, in a utopia or an unreal world. I think I do live in an unreal world, I mean come on, I go to Hogwarts. <laughs> Occupations favourable for you are mainly related to the public or social, oriented towards abroad or the unknown, or include a form of univers universality, I can't, I can't say that word. But the fox is me guys so all of you guys who have done their patronuses please let me know what you guys got in the comments i would really love to know i didn't want to get festral but i'm kind of i thought it through and i was like no i'm kind of glad i didn't because i don't really think death really suits me <laughs> but i love my festivals they're my favorite harry potter creatures i would love a baby festival for christmas now you know what i want for christmas please get me one <laughs> Yes, I really want to know all of your patronuses. I want to know what you wanted to get and what you did get and maybe even what house you're in as well. Have you done the Ilva Morning House? I want to know what you guys are in that also. So I'm Gryffindor, Thunderbird and my patronus is a fox. Quite a good combination, you know, lion, Thunderbird, a bird that creates storms and a fox. I mean, it's pretty good. I like it. It feels great. It feels right. <laughs> okay, I need to go before I talk way too long and uh, this video will probably be long enough. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I do want to read your comments and I do reply to every single one. But I at least try to. I try. I do try. Thank you so much for all your love and support and all of you subscribers lately. 
seriously it means the world i love you guys and i will see you next video bye